Hello COD'ers, uh, my name is Gareth Byrne and I'm going to be going through Expectations of a New Recruit which is in Section B of Stage 3. Uh, I'm going to be using my good friend Craig uh, to role play the scenario. Um, so uh, here goes. Um, so uh, Craig obviously you've just started the company. Yep. Well done for passing your open day and getting invited back. Uh, good news is uh, we're going to be working together um, closely over the course of the next couple of weeks which is going to be really good. I know you've had your initial expectations with the uh, marketing company, and I guess if I'm going to be coaching you over the course of the, the first few weeks uh, and going forward, uh, if things go well for you, I wanted to give a bit of an indication of how things are going to work and, and some expectations, and just to, I guess, um, explain what's going to happen over the first, first couple of weeks in the company. Okay. Okay with you so far? Yeah. Great. So, um, first of all, um, you know, I, 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 as a leader in this office, I want to... You know, I want to get ahead and and and, uh, and, and go through the program. I'm really excited about getting down to uh, to Exeter to open up my office. Obviously, we're here in Birmingham, and uh, and and what I want to do is um, is hit my goals. But obviously, my my role over the next couple of weeks is to help you hit your goals and get you good at the basics of uh, of, of sales first of all. And then obviously, if you want to progress, we can talk about that further. So I wanted to run through a, a couple of points with you. The first thing, I suppose, is putting in 100 effort. Um, you know, while we're working together, I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully. It will be will be a lot of fun, and uh, uh, we'll be have some. But I am going to take the the fact that we want to try and hit some goals seriously. Um, my uh, the owner is going to be checking to make sure that I've coached you properly, etc. And he's going to want to know as well that uh, that you're putting in the effort too. And and so so I think putting in 100 percent effort is probably the most important thing. Um, if you're not putting in 100 percent effort. 100% effort. Here's the negative, I guess. If you're not putting in 100% effort, um, I can't lie for you. Uh, I like you. We had a great day uh, together on the open day, and obviously we're going to have a lot of fun. Like I said, working together, but I might even get it for for a pint if, if that's if you're into it. Uh, but um, but I can't lie for you, and uh, I, I'm taking uh, you know my role really seriously here. I want the company to invest in me to open up that that office in the next six six months. You know that's my big goal. So. If I come back in the evening and, uh, you know, let's say you haven't put in 100%, I don't think you will, but let's say you haven't, I can't lie to the owner on your behalf and cover up for you. That's not how this business works. I'm going to have to explain that you haven't put in 100% of it. That might sound a little bit harsh, but that's, um, you know, we need to address, if there is an issue, we need to address it. Now, hopefully that won't happen. And similarly, um, 100% effort comes back to me too, because, Craig, if you feel that I'm not putting 100% into your coaching, what should you do? I wouldn't be happy either. You wouldn't be happy, but what should you do? Do you think you should should you tell me? Should you tell the owner? Tell the owner. Yeah, I'll, hopefully you would tell me first. <laughs> but if you want to go straight to the owner, this is the thing. You can. And uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I can guarantee you I'm going to give you 100% for sure. Um, but you're absolutely right. You should take that to the owner if you felt you're not getting coached properly. In fact, if you see any issues in the office that you feel are not right, whether I've done it or not, we always we have an open, open door policy. And open communication is really important as we want to make sure that things are being done properly. That's what separates us from different different sales organizations. So it's really important that, that, that we're open with that. <clears throat> so that's how that's going to work. I think the next thing is, um, you know, just over the course of the first week, um, when we actually get out to the field, um, you know, in uh, you know, how well we have prepped in the morning is going to is going to make a huge difference to whether we do really well. Um, so in the mornings we're going to have a plan. Uh, I know you've got a notepad already, which, which I see, which is great. Um, so we're going to be putting the plan in every day. Um, we're going to be using our site for development um, and, and obviously check it off. We'll get on the website too, which will be great. And I'm going to coach you through that stuff. But our prep and our plan time in the morning is going to dictate what kind of a result we're going to get in the field. So again, making sure that when we walk into the offices, yeah, you know, we're going to have a good time. We're going to have, we're going to socialise. We'll get out for a couple of beers in the evening, I'm sure too. I think there's a big football game on this weekend as well, which will be which hopefully we can go catch catch as well if you're into it. I know you're into the football, so. Uh, but it's really important that we get the plan and prep done. And that's going to make your life easier. You're going to be able to make more sales, have a better income. And interestingly enough, you'll be able to progress a lot faster because you'll be developing a bit of a reputation for yourself. The other thing as well is I'm going to work really closely with you over the first couple of weeks. Um, but the owner um, you know, uh, that I'm working with, um, I really want to get down to Exeter. I'm earning um, you know, a lot of investment in terms of recruiting from, from my owner. So I'm going to have more people to train and more people to coach in the next few weeks. That doesn't mean I'm going to drop you. I'm not going to ignore you or anything like that, but I can give you a week and a half to two weeks of really intensive coaching. And then after that, my goal is that you've become fully independent or at least very close to that. I'm always going to be there for you to help you <coughs> coach you through stuff in the mornings. And, uh, you know, but we won't always be able to work as, as closely. So it's really important that you're listening to what um, we're going through. Um, you know, I'm making four or five hundred euros a week from sales. I want to teach you how to do that. In fact, 
I think with your people skills, you made me better than me. I'm a little bit nervous in case you get too good. Uh, but um, <clears throat> but we want to we want to see that happening. But it's really important that after a couple of weeks that you're really independent. So that means I am going to push you. And there are certain elements, um, certain times when you're going to be role playing the pitch. We're going to be maybe I'm going to be asking you to increase your work ethic a little bit. If I fit, or I'll explain to you if you keep doing that, it's not going to get the result. And hopefully you can understand where I'm coming from. Uh, but I think in general, if you apply the information we're teaching you, and uh, I'm going to hook you up with some of the best people that I know, not just in this office, but as you know, we're part of a huge network of offices across, and uh, not just this country, but many, many countries. Um, I'm going to make sure that you can uh, see the best clips from the from the COD website. I'm going to make sure you can get on the phone to some of the best people. And, uh, you know, over our first couple of weeks, if things go well and you pass your week's evaluation and all that stuff, um, you know, I travel and visit, like, physically go and visit lots of great people. Um, you know, at different levels of the company, so I'm going to hook you up with the best people that I know so you can stand up on your own two feet and, and continue on from there. Great. Sound good? Great, yeah. Cool. All right, well, let's crack into the morning and, uh, you know, we'll re revisit this stuff during, over the course of the week and uh, let's hope uh, you, uh, you you fly through the, the, the week's trial with, with, you know, with a, with a great result. Cool. Great. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, uh, I've just ran through, uh, you know, basic, uh, well, another term for it is 100% chat, and the idea is to manage... Um, you know the expectations of the new recruits, so they understand that you, you're going to help them, but you're not going to be, uh, you know, uh, at their side for the rest of their lives. You literally are going to coach them the basics, and then the whole key in our business is replacing yourself and teaching people how to be independent. And of course, I've explained that. If we don't explain that, I think quite often new recruits, they're managed, their expectations are managed poorly, and then they have a, they're misinterpreted um, the business. So. You'll get way better results if you do it like that. Hopefully it made sense and you've enjoyed it. Uh, check out more of my, uh, my blogs on the site.